what is it, people? This is John hates allergies here. Uh, I have allergies, um, and I'm still up, which not a good combination. So uh, I want to have a discussion video. So I would, it's just going to be a short video uh, because I'll be basically just talk about um, the Crunchyroll Anime Award show that's going to be coming out on February 16th, I believe, which I stick it somewhere on the screen where they'll do the live streaming of the event exclusively on Twitch, as well as that actually on tomorrow, on the 11th of January, that's when they'll do the actual voting and broadcast, um, and pr I mean, present the, the nominees for each category. Now, for the past two years, people had very high mixed feelings for this particular show because the thing is a lot of people have brought up is that you know the voting system is very uh mixed um as well as that the judging panel itself and even to what everyone can agree is that you know the fan bases on a certain anime can really ruined higher chances for the little dogs you know that kind of deserved it more than these you know ones that has these kind of communities i mean i'm just saying like last year with my hair academia winning so many awards it really takes away from those that we feel like you know it kind of needs more of a deserving on a particular award than ones that people would say, oh, I well, I voted this because I heard of this and never others. And that's a very bad thing because that really, you know, takes away, you know, in a sense of, you know, giving others a chance as well as to bring, like, more options to watch and even those that deserving an award. I mean, last year, there's so many awards that I would say that was very missed opportunity. Um, let me see if I can bring it up on this website. Uh, last year winners. So, for example, um, best opening my Hair Academia, Best Animation, My Hair Academia, um, Best Action, My Hair Academia. I mean, honestly, if, when it comes to My Hair Academia, Best Hero, um, have the Deku, um, Best Villain, Stain, um, Best Boy, you know, uh, Toroki, um, Best Girl, or Raka. I mean, the thing, again, like I said, it was a, basically... My Hair Academia was winning majority of the awards. And I think that in itself was not really, you know, great in the sense of that it really, you know, in a way, the community kind of ruined um, the others that was more deserving of the awards, in my opinion. I mean, I brought that up in my video when I was talking about, you know, after when I was co-streaming with a buddy of mine, that a lot of the you know, awards that was given to My Hair Academia, it, I mean, in my opinion, My Hair Academia would have won, at least, should have won, like, an award or two. Should have. If we were to talk about Anime of the Year, um, I would have to be honest with you guys, there's a lot of anime that really deserves Anime of the Year. Like, for example, um, a lot of people do know about, you know, you know, Buddy Girl Senpai, um, Hina Matsuri, um, another anime, you know, Megalobox was, was a really tough contender, um, I doubt, I know people's gonna put, you know, Darling and the Franks in there, I really believe people's gonna put Darling and the Franks in there, uh, Banana Fish, really an amazing anime, I mean, sure, there's a lot of, like, these sequels, like Attack on Titan, High School DxD, um, uh, my Hero Academia, which, by the way, you know, there's really great contenders, and as well as uh, my personal favorite, um, that's still ongoing, but came out from, from 2018, is actually, um, that time I got reincarnated as Slime, uh, my personal favorite, uh, that I really want to, to have on the anime of the year, but if you want to you have one that's in depth of story and really development. Um, definitely, I'll have to give it to um, you know Buddy Ghost Senpai. Um, so, 
or I think the, I think it's pronouncing is uh uh Shinshun Buta Waru Wa Bunny Girl Senpai No You Min Wo Minai or something like that. Um really deserving um of for the anime of the year ca- uh, category. <laughs> but but that's just me. Um so yeah, I think that's I shall cut the video to there. Also, um, just to let you guys know before, um, these are the judges that represents, you know, from various, you know, areas, from reporters, uh, writers, um, one YouTuber, which please check her out, um, is actually, um, right here, um, uh, Slow and the Female Otaku, um, so, uh, check her out as well, so, Seriously, you know, I, I, I barely watch her content, um, but I watched, I think, two videos of her, her, her channel, and so far, I have been enjoying it, so, uh, please do check her out, I'll provide her link down in the description below, uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this last minute video, and that I am having allergies and sniffling um i do apologize uh, but i really want to make a video and to have like an open discussion with you guys um so that way uh we can have like um a communication with each other as well as you know during these anime awards you know what is our takes and so forth on each of the category so uh, i'm gonna leave it up for a little bit of the categories so that way you guys can think of you know possibilities so any if any of these categories that you see on the screen um what is your anime of the year let me know in the comment section below and why as well as if you have like other categories that you see on the screen let me know what anime is deserving on any of these categories and let me know why in your comments below so thank you guys so much uh, i'm gonna go to bed right now oh stay awesome love you please take your allergens <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video adios peace